Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Jack in the Box Models. I'm your host, Jack. I got a very, very special mail call that I'd like to share with you today. An unboxing, if you will. <laughs> in making preparations for this video, Mrs. In the Box kind of set me out. She's been bugging me the last couple of days. She said, you need to get back to work at the bench. You need to finish them kits you started. She said, you're going to be known as the, the uh, builder that don't build nothing. You're just buying stuff. And then she come up with the the uh, name. You'll be you'll be known as the how did she put it? Hang on a minute. The silly hill build me. <laughs> oh man! I mean, uh, yeah. Anyway, what I have here is what I would consider a gem, a vintage original. 1967 Boot Hill Express. Let me see if I can adjust this camera. To get a good look at that. If nobody's seen uh, a vintage box, this is the real McDill right here. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get around to building this, but when I do, I can tell you this right now. I'm going to go with the uh, original box art look I want to build it like the the real hot rod that was built by what was his name Ray Farner hey wasn't he a guitar player for somebody anyway um, now my buddy Ryan uh, oh Ryan what's your game channel RPM games uh, he recently built one of these. Now, I'm going to tell you. That's going to be a tough act to follow right there. Uh, he opened up. He opened up the back doors on his. Which I'm not going to attempt. I've not opened doors on anything yet. Uh, eventually, I may do that. It took me forever. To get up the courage. Just to sand tires. The reason why I just could not understand sanding a perfectly good shiny rubber tire that just made absolutely no sense to me I understand now is to give it a more of a realistic look and I I do it to all my kids now but getting over that hump was something I it took me forever to get past that and I was like man I like my tires to be shiny and new looking but anyway I'm gonna give you a little roundabout of the box uh you know the box to be as old as it is i think it's in pretty darn good shape and i don't know if you can see this or not but right here it says copyright 1967 right there i want to get no closer because i don't want to go out of focus but um and here's the other side and you know what i love about getting these vintage kits i love to open the box and get that smell that old dusty musty smell there's just something special about that and you know these instruction sheets too you know they're old and discolored but uh this instruction sheet is in really really good shape uh, there again you can see at the bottom 1967 monogram models Mattel company kit number 6735 here's a little glimpse I'm going to try to work this without having to move the camera too much a little glimpse of the inside of the instruction sheet there's the back side but yeah i built a uh, repop version of this i think it was early 90s and uh 
with me moving around so much and changing jobs and playing in bands and stuff a lot of my stuff got trashed or left behind it's a pretty neat little catalog right here check this out rod and custom collection it shows all the tom daniels stuff and i seen some in here that i didn't even know existed okay let's see a b c dog catcher this one right here i never knew that existed I bet that's rare in hen's teeth. Okay, and then this one here, D. That's the horn toad. Never heard of it. There's the Tijuana taxi and the pie wagon. And up here you got uh, this is the iced tea, the beer wagon, the groovy graver. What's this one called? This is I. Uh, Oh, this is Jay, the Unreal Roller. This paddy wagon, I used to have the repop of that. I'd like to get that one again. I'd like to get this Romel's rod, too. I always wanted to build that one. Okay, and over here, of course, you got, you got the Cherry Bomb. This one I'd never seen before. What is this? In the Honest Engine. The train. I've never seen that one. Here's the Boo Hill Express, Little Coffin, Bad Medicine, Red Baron. I'd like to get all of them that I don't have, as a matter of fact. Uh, here's another one I'd never seen before right here. This A. That's the Trick T. And then uh, you got Troublemaker, C, Outcast. Oh, here's a couple of my favorites right here. Let's see. Snake and Mongoose. And then the Snake and Mongoose. Here's the Bad Man. School Bus. Snake and Mongoose. G and H. Rail Dragsters. This J and K. That's uh, the Snake and Mongoose. Rear Engine Dragsters. Here's one of my favorites I'd like to get too. The Tarantula. I really like that one. Ah, the Vandal. I have one of those. And it's like 50% complete. Um, I almost got this one on an auction, but I went to sleep on it and missed it. In. Where's in? The Poison Pinto. Quicksilver. Ah, another van. I got this one on my radar too, guys. The Baya Beast. Popper Chopper. Rat Vega. And this is the little van. Not too crazy about the little van, but I wouldn't mind having it just because. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, the clear parts was loose and, and by the way I've uh, did an inventory of this kit it is 100% complete uh, I took the clear parts out and stuck in this little hefty bag because they were loose and they've gotten some scuff marks and things on them that I'm gonna have to clean up uh, carefully get this out I got one side piece of glass it's off one that's loose. I don't know if you can see those scratch marks or not, but uh, yeah, and the, the parts that are missing, uh, I've got in a separate little bag. They bag them separately. Um, there's the other side panels in the bag. So I'm gonna carefully slide this back in here bag's a little small but that's okay it's just okay here on this piece of tree we've got the little skeleton so if we can get a good look here's his little pistol and holster gun belt rib cage and this piece here 
this part of the front end where you sit here's the diamond tuck leather looking piece here I think this is part of the uh, footboard or something there uh, let's see what we got here I'm gonna try to get through this kind of quickly uh, here we have the frame there's the two back doors that go on it and these windows go behind the driver uh, here's the uh, main part inside of the Boot Hill Express it's like a frame area here and it's got some nice wood grain it's even got the little try to get a little closer on that it's got the little rollers that the casket rolls across thought that was pretty cool uh, there's the two side panels the wood grain inside and the curtains two side panels and here's those little lamps I guess they are some kind of ornate pieces that goes on the top almost by the pictures I've been seeing it almost looks like they're cut out of wood and painted gold or something I don't know I'm gonna have to look at some pictures of it and uh, a lot of pictures and get different angles so I know how to paint what here's another diamond tuck bench seat here's the big Chrysler Hemi engine block halves these are inserts that go on the outside of the two drag slicks it actually has some little tiny lettering on it um, I don't know if I'll be painting those or not maybe seemed like I seen some pictures where the raised white letters was painted on here's the heads like some springs here's the, the top where the stacks come through all right where are we at here looks like we're getting into some chrome fellas we're getting into some vintage chrome check that out you got your all right two of these go together uh, to make one wheel I noticed two of them have let me get up here where the camera can see two of them have little tiny valve stems and two of them don't so you got to put those together one with a valve stem to one with without not to get that confused and put these two together and mess it up and then uh, it looks like you got some springs here all kinds of little parts and uh steering wheel ornate stuff here's the fuel well, you can't see for the glare but the fuel cell up here front springs like handles that goes inside good looking stuff here guys here's a instrument panel and gauges oh, let's see what we got here oh boy look at these pipes man that is awesome right there here's the exhaust pipes these are some interesting looking heads right here what does that say let me look at my magnet light right quick oop about not my drink over that says chrysler firepower right here across the top of the heads Chrysler firepower I don't know if you can get a look at that or not um, and then here's the uh, deep dish rims the stacks that go out the top these are the springs that go underneath the front seat here's the brake wheel cylinders uh, i've got another one of these in the bag rear end awesome 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 all right these are the the parts they had bagged pour these out right quick go over them but i inventoried it guys it's 100 percent complete they even 
save some little chrome pieces that I, I don't think goes to anything but we'll see there's the tires so they got this inset area right here they feel more plasticky than they do rubber but they they're kind of rubbery and then here's the little skinny tires that go on the front Let's see how that one. there's my other brake cylinder here's my my tombstone what would you like on your tombstone let's see here's the base for the skeleton 10 gallon hat Here's another one of the clear parts. One of the lanterns, that, that needs to go in that other bag with the clear parts. And there's another one of those ornate pieces that goes on the top, lantern, what have you. And this is where your pedals and steering wheel goes through. Piece of the footboard. There's a piece of the footboard. There's a little, little skeleton face. If it's going to focus or not, it might be too close. It's pretty cool, huh? All right, guys, that's it. Uh, wish you could smell my box. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here, man. I got I've been weed eating this morning. I, I, I told Mrs. in the box, I said, um. I don't like to try to work on nothing after I weed eat because I, my, my arms get the shakes from the vibration of that weed eater. But uh, I'm going to get off here and get this thing uploaded so I can share it with you guys. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I appreciate all of my old prescribers and my new prescribers. Uh, and if you're not prescribed, uh, please do so hit the notification bell like the video for me if you enjoyed yourself and uh, share it with your friends and family and remember Jesus loves you see you guys <laughs>